So we've got some basic brushes down. Let's do a little bit more of a deep dive into brushes before we get into modifiers. Uh, what I mean by that is we have brushes over here and we have some modifiers on these brushes and there's things you can do. Uh, but one really powerful thing we've been, not avoiding, but we haven't really touched on yet is this section right here. This is your stroke options. And besides these limited stroke options, you also have a huge stroke menu over here. So you can take this, let's go ahead and grab that white circle and just drag it over here. So now we have brush options and stroke options. Now, before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about menu navigation. So, you know, we've been dragging menus over here. We've been clicking sub menus and it's pretty easy, but you're going to notice over here, like if I open up this depth and then open up elasticity, these things kind of close. Uh, normally what I would say is I hold down shift and then open up multiple. That'll allow you to open multiple and then you can go through here and close what you need. So if you need more than one menu open, just hold down shift that'll open up multiple sub menus for you as opposed to clicking one and then clicking another and having it auto collapse the other one. However, for entire menus, if I go up here and just collapse these down and then open up like the brush and then I open up the stroke, I can't keep two of these open now. Now I've got the brush, now I've got the stroke. Even if I hold down shift, it's not gonna let me do it. Where that is, it's kinda weird. If you go in here to preferences, interface, palettes, you're gonna see left tray and right tray. So you're gonna see left tray is turned on and that says in the little helper menu kinda down the middle of the screen, left tray auto collapse. So with this on and it's on by default, your menus over here will auto collapse. When you go through here and you use the brush, you can have all the brush settings. Okay, now when I see stroke, open up stroke, it closes the brush options automatically. That isn't turned on in the right tray. So if I go over here to the right tray and I've got my tool menu and let's say, you know what, let's throw the render menu over here. Uh, now, if I close both of these, I can open tool and I can open render, no problem. So that kind of bugs you. You can go in here to your preferences, turn off left tray, go to config, store config, and then you'll have the functionality for your left tray. I don't think it comes up that often. I just wanted to make sure you knew that was a thing. Of course, if you do like we did, where you have a brush menu and then you take your stroke menu here, they're not gonna auto collapse. They'll both stay open.